Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosio, and today I'm going to show kind of a um, smallish Timu order <laughs> that I received a couple days ago. Actually, it was a large order I received, and I've just been selecting out kind of the smaller ones. So today I'm going to show four instead of three because there's one that I really want to work on, and it's just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> and just to let you all know, I say it almost in every video, but I'm not going to do the long kind of explanation. Myself, I am a Timu affiliate, and you'll actually see my code appear right around here. And all you need to do is search this code onto the Timu site or the app if you have it installed. And it will allow different benefits just for searching for the code. You'll either see if you're a new user, a discount code or coupons, uh, usually a coupon bundle. Or if you're a returning user, also a discount percentage. I believe it's 30%. And also a list of items that I've selected that I believe, you know, y'all might be interested in or previous kind of purchases I've done, especially for a lot of the diamond paintings I've been showing in the videos, and if in case you're interested in purchasing it for yourself. <laughs> See how quick I did that one? <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get to the paintings. So the first one I want to show is this one. And since I was so, so excited to show them, I kind of didn't take them out of the plastic, so sorry about that for all the printing noise you're going to hear. And while we're near the end of July, which means we're going to be hitting August 1st, which means it's time for fall, y'all. <laughs> and Timu actually is already thinking of that because when I started searching diamond paintings, first options they kept showing me were fall kind of designs, so either pumpkins or fall leaves, trees, all of that. So I fell in love with a lot of the canvases I kept finding. And fortunately, a lot of them were large. <laughs> so in case you've never really opened a diamond painting once you've unfurled it, you'll see your diamonds and your tray. And also, just in case you need a diamond painting, all you would need is the tray, the wax, and the pen. And all you do is press the pen to the wax, press it onto the diamonds that you've poured it onto the tray, press them onto the painting, and voila, you are officially a diamond painter. <laughs> Ooh, this tray is a little bit different. Usually they're clear, kind of transparent, well, not tra well, kind, of, kind of transparent tray. These are, this is a really sturdy one. Huh? Never seen that before. Oh, kind of like it. I'm put it aside real quick and use the diamond. Oh, neat. These are already all kitted up, meaning that they're all in Ziploc bags. As you can see, some diamonds will also be in kind of, they're called a train, and it's little sachets of plastic that are attached together. You would cut those, kit them up, whatever style you use to do diamond paintings, and you just organize them. This is really neat that they already have these already ziploc Oh, and they also have all of the individual numbers as well. Hmm, maybe this painting I'll do it in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> they already did all the work for me, so might as well, right? And I really love all these really earthy tones. And yeah, they are really, really fall tone, as you can see with the browns and the oranges. Random little green here. I really do like these. And this is the painting. And it was so pretty when it was first. I didn't go searching for this one. Timu actually suggested it. As I said, a lot of their suggestions now are switching over kind of a fall kind of design. So you'll start seeing a lot of pumpkins, a lot of sunflowers, a lot of autumn leaves, autumn trees, everything autumn-y. And trust me, with this summer we have, I think everyone cannot wait for the fall season to kick in. <laughs> I know I can. I, I really love fall. I love the cool weather and I just love all the orangey colors that start appearing out everywhere. And honestly, I just love pumpkins. <laughs> so this is the image. And as you can see, it's a white pumpkin in the middle with some large sunflowers on the side. It's against, I believe it's a wall here and a bunch of autumn leaves hanging. It's so, so pretty. And I'm going to try to probably start one of these paintings that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show in a bit. I need more fall in my... <laughs> in my apartment so i need to complete some of these paintings i really do love this pattern i believe oh my apologies the background is a plaid pattern as you can probably see let me get the plastic out of the way you can see the little plaid pattern in the background oh, i really love that that's why i believe i fell in love with this painting because i love that little pattern 
And some information about the painting. It is TM-JR-000607 and is a 30 by 40. And it is 25 colors. And the legend has the numbers 1 through 10 in numerical order, but 10 is 0, which is fine. I I've seen that before. It's not an issue. And for 11 through 25, they're all in lowercase letters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Until the number 25, it's an equal symbol. Huh, that's really random. <laughs> I really love that the legend's a little large, as you can see, really clear. I'm a big fan of that. Also, this painting also has some assistant circles around the drill field. And what I mean by that, let me see if I can get a little closer for y'all. So I can get it focused here. You can see the little circles around all the symbols everywhere. And I call those assistant circles. It really, really helps if especially if you're a new painter you're putting any of the diamonds down as long as you hit them right into the circle they're perfectly lined perfectly straight you don't have to worry about that that's pretty much all it really does is to help you know for you to get into the habit of knowing where to place the diamonds i have no issue with them i know some they're not everyone's favorite but i i i have no problems <laughs> and it lets me judge myself oh i need to be straighter with my diamonds and i start seeing those little lines appearing out of it to me, I think it's a good practice, no matter how many diamond paintings you've been doing already. And for this painting, I'm going to make sure to put an image here, in the middle of the screen, so you can see it clearly, with a nice little random pumpkin with flowers. Is what you're looking for this fall. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the side real quick. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> it kind of fell out of my hand. And it's the next one. So, again, apologies for the crinkling noise. Because I can find the end. Where is the end? Sometimes the glue is really cool. Oh, here we go. Sometimes it's really transparent. I can't spot it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I spent around five minutes once just trying to find the end. I just didn't want to tear it because I do reuse these bags. So that's what I was like. I was really, really stubborn on finding that end. <laughs> and so, same thing. You just unfurl everything. And standard kit. And these are the diamonds. Oh, there's the first thing I saw is this apple, green apple, green <laughs> color. I really like this color. That's really bright. Little pink hit there hidden. And a bunch of, oh, a darker kind of grass green. Oh, a bunch of earthy tones again. As you can see, all of these colors just spring. They just yell fall to me, as you can see, uh, except that random blue. But I think it's the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I really love these colors and you can see them there in the middle of the train as I said it's a little train of packets of all the diamonds you just cut these and pour them into whatever storage container you're going to use and you're getting diamond points and this is the painting so this one I believe it's fallish so sunflowers are actually in connection with fall because sunflowers still bloom in fall uh, in summer and fall so that's why when I first saw this, it made me think of fall because it's a little kind of, well, I want to say a bucket. It looks like a little red bucket with sunflowers and with some apples. I'm not too sure it's apples are in season in fall, <laughs> but I do know peaches are in season right now. So I'm not too sure they're fall, but that's just me. Sorry about that. I <laughs> I was ordering groceries yesterday, uh, sorry, today, earlier today. That's what I was thinking of fruit because it, it tells me which, you know, what fruits are in season and it's all peaches where it's all pollen cheese for that. But yeah, it's a bunch of little apples, a little squirrel and a bird. Well, a couple of birds. There's a bird up here. As you can see, oh, I was right. The blues with the sky. Oh, I really love this image. I love the flowers. I love flowers. If, if you're new to the channel or if you're turning to the channel, you already know this. <laughs> Rosie loves flowers. <laughs> That's a lot of my paintings always have a flower or two in them. Oh, I really, really like this one. And it's so clear, too. I really love that. And some information about this painting. It is TP03. Sorry, that made me laugh when I read it. And it is a 30 by 40. And it is 24 colors. And the legend has numbers 1 through 8 as 1 through 8. And from 9 all the way to 24. They're all capital letters. Ooh, I really love that. There's no symbols in them. Ooh, I love that. And 24 colors. I would expect a little bit more because there's a lot of detail in the little bucket. But I'm not going to jinx it. I'm happy with the 24 colors. It's 24 colors. 
And as I said, as you can probably see, the little drill, drill field is really, really bright. Or, yeah, it's really clear. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. You can see all the P's, all the 7's, all the symbols really clearly. Oh my goodness, this is really, really nice. I love how clear it is. Huh, maybe this one I'll kit up next. No, 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 no. I only have one, I need a kit up. <laughs> and as well, for this one, I'll make sure to put a clear image here. In the middle of the screen, so you can see more clearly. The nice look at the sunflowers. It's also what you're looking for. <laughs> Whoop, and there goes my bangers. Sorry about that. They slide, so I sometimes, I drop them a lot. <laughs> and it's just a nut pull. Oh, there you go. And give me one moment. I need a cough really quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> I did not want to cough on my microphone because I did not want to make y'all dip. <laughs> I cough loudly, so I didn't want to do that. And the other packet. And at least you didn't hear the crinkly noise. <laughs> and same thing, except from Frolin. Oh, I remember this one. I like this one a lot. And same thing, standard kit. And these are the diamonds. Oh my goodness, the, the writing on this one is interesting. Oh, and these diamonds are loose. So what I mean by loose is you probably saw the previous packets of diamonds. They all were in plastic packs. When they're not, when they're in just the strips by themselves, that's what I mean that they're loose. Oh, you know, so I actually, this is why I saved the plastic. <laughs> I've had several paintings that the diamonds are kind of loose. And I'm real worried because sometimes some of the strips are disconnected. So I've lost the strip of diamonds before. So I have to really, really search around so I can find them. Lesson learned. That's why I really use these little plastic bags. <laughs> and I write on marker the painting number, the number that I state on top, so I can find which times they are when they start on the painting. Sorry about that. That was just a little tangent there. I was just really worried that I am going to lose a diamond or two. And yeah, these are all really wall tones. You can see all the oranges, the nice little browns, the dark gray. Oh, also in the middle, you can actually see all of the oranges here, the dark greens. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It just screams well when you look at it. And this is the painting. So the painting is a bucket of pumpkins. <laughs> it's so, so cute. As much as I love flowers, I love pumpkins too. So that's why anytime I see kind of a fall painting, I always want a pumpkin. I always want a pumpkin in it. So when I started seeing these paintings, I started seeing a lot of them popping out with pumpkins. As I said, Timmy started showing me a lot of fall paintings. So I was really excited when I started seeing all the pumpkins start popping out. <laughs> and sorry about that. I was just fixing the plastic so I can take care of the creases. As you can see, a really, really beautiful little bucket with a beautiful bow on it and some pumpkins in it, pumpkins around it. The nice little, I thought it was a wall. No, it's a little kind of, I want to say a walkway because these are all trees here. So it looks like path. There you go. That was the word I was looking for. It looks like a path in the background and you can see a little lamp here and you can see all these wonderful fall trees all around it. Oh, I really love this picture. I know there's a lot of kind of more white, a little bit more gray, but I believe the orange is going to pop out really, really brightly, especially against all of these tones. Oh my goodness, I really love this painting. At the bottom with a bunch of leaves as well. Ooh, sorry, I keep looking at it. <laughs> and some information about the painting, it is TM-JR-00517. And it's a 30 by 40. And this painting has 25 colors. And the legend is numbers 1 through 10, 10 being 0. Again, it's all in numerical order. And then from 11 to 25, same thing, all lowercase letters. Well, some lowercase, well, this one's a little bit different. Some lowercase, a couple capital letters, and then again, lowercase, it kind of switches on and off. It's kind of random. And 25 is a symbol, which is the symbol 11. You can actually see that. Oh, that is so weird. It's kind of random. Hmm, kind of like it. And the legend's a little bit larger than usual paintings that I see, and it's really clear, and I love that. And this one as well, it has a couple of assistant circles, as you can see on the drill field. 
but it's really clear and you actually see the symbols and everything not really in the way oh, i really like this painting it's so pretty and as well i'll make sure to put an image here in the middle of the screen so you can see it more clearly the nice bucket of pumpkin is what they're looking for as well <laughs> bucket of pumpkin that is a weird kind of term to put together <laughs> so let me put this aside real quick i'm gonna make sure not to drop the diamonds again there we go perfect and for my last painting <laughs> my last painting this is the painting i was waiting for when i first purchased it and i was so excited originally it was out of stock and uh, when i saw oh it's gonna tear those other horns when it was in stock again i picked it up really really quickly so i was so excited about this painting um so this glass is a little bit tougher so um, let's try to see if i can reach in Sorry about that. Sorry, really sorry about all the crinkle noise. I'm gonna have to fight it a bit, so I'm not gonna fight it off the screen. You see me struggling trying to duke it out with the uh, diamond seal. This one I'll have to throw the bag. For some reason, it's really loud in there. And there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to recycle that little bag. I think it has an adhesive in it, that's why it kind of got stuck. And I'll throw it again. Same thing, standard kit, except this one's a little fancier. It has a couple of Ziploc bags and a multi-placer of three. I've got to remember to take that off because I save those. I use three and four, especially these plastic type. I have no idea why. I'm a big fan of these. And they're my favorite when I'm multi-placing either rounds or squares. Especially for the threes. I don't know. I, I really love these. And as I've said, they'll always find you. <laughs> and these are diamonds. Oh, these are kitted up as well. They're in Ziploc bags. Oh, I love that really dark coral color. That is really, really pretty. I love this really light blue here. I believe I saw a nice orange. Oh, here we go. This nice orange here. Same thing again with the rose. Oh, I really like these colors. And this is the painting. It, it is a couple of sliced oranges in ice. I have no idea why I love this painting. <laughs> and i got this on a lightning deal as well uh, i believe i got this one at a dollar 77 i believe and i really lucked out since i said this this painting was originally a pre-order and it sold out really fast i guess other people wanted sliced oranges as well and when it came back in and i picked it up again it was a pre-order again so i had to wait a couple of extra days for my whole team for part of the team order to get all of these and this is one of the ones that I'm going to get up next. As I said, for the larger paintings, I love doing smaller ones on the side. Just to alternate and to change it up a bit. And just to give me something new to look at instead of always looking at the same painting. <laughs> and I love this one. And that's all they are. They're just uh, sliced oranges on some ice cubes with a really, really bright background. Nothing special about it. I just I love fruit. <laughs> and... Yeah, I love this painting and I couldn't wait to get it and that's why I wanted to make sure to uh, unbox it for y'all so you can see it. And my next kit up video is going to be of this painting so stay tuned. I'm planning to put it, if not this week, it'll be probably next week. But I really, really love this. The thing I'm noticing about this painting, the plastic is a little thicker. It's not the usual type that I get with the other paintings that I just showed you. I don't know why, this plastic is a little bit higher quality. <laughs> It's a little thicker too. It's real smooth. Oh, I really like it. And some information about this painting. It is XTM00107 and is a 20 by 30 and is 14 colors. And the legend numbers 1 through 7 are all numerical. So 1 is 1, 2 is 2. And number 8 to 14, they're all capital letter, capitalized letters. Oh, thank goodness, no symbols. <laughs> and the field as well on this one, as you can see, it's really, really clear. Oops, sorry, I think I might have zoomed up. Might have zoomed in just a bit. Let me fix that. Sorry about that. I clicked the zoom in on my button, on my phone. <laughs> that's where I record. And I was trying to... There we go, that's better. So it works really well. All the bright colors have a dark tone for the symbols and... Well, there's not, well, some of the darker parts of green has a lighter tone for the lettering. 
works really it's really clear i have no issue seeing any of the symbols i am just a big big fan i love this painting I have no idea why. And I was so, so, so excited when I saw it back in stock. And I was able to pick it up. So, yeah. That's all I, I wanted to show today. I also wanted to show those wall paintings. Because I'm planning probably a little bit. Probably in August to start one of them. As I said, I need a couple more wall paintings in my, in my home. Because I don't have any. <laughs> so, when I do, I'll make sure to do a kid up, on one, a kid up video on one of those as well. And, yeah. That's all I wanted to show today. And again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I ask if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate that as well. It really helps to put my channel out for the algorithm and allows me the opportunity to show everyone these wonderful paintings I love showing to you all. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.